in this video we will show you how to add breadcrumbs in wordpress to accomplish this so we will install a plugin called yoast seo and then i will show you how to set up that plugin properly to display breadcrumbs so make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end to never miss a thing so without further ado let's get started now so the first thing that you have to do is to go to the dashboard of your website and then from here go to the plugins section and then click on add new and from here search for Yoast this plugin right here Yoast SEO click install now button and then hit activate so once you will activate this plugin you will see this option so click on start first time configuration and then you will see this dashboard right here just keep this dashboard just the way it is in order to add the breadcrumbs go to this settings option and then you will see this prompt hit skip and then you will have all of these options right here now i'm using elementor for my website so in order to add the breadcrumbs into the elementor website i'll go to all pages and then right here you can see this is the home page of my website so in order to add the breadcrumb i'll click on edit with elementor and then right here you can see that we have this prompt saying yoast seo for elementor is added so click on got it and then click here right here you will see this option yoast seo click on it and right here you can see it's saying unfortunately we cannot save changes because we haven't made any changes so far so in here you will have to uh, you can do some configurations here if you want but for now i'm not going into the details of how you can make changes in here in here simply search for breadcrumbs and you will see this option breadcrumbs drag this option into your page and here you can see it's saying breadcrumb is using Yoast SEO plugin you can change the option from the plugin settings page so uh, you, we can also stylize this breadcrumb so hit update and then if we go to the front end of our website right here you can see here it is showing us the breadcrumb now in order to access the settings that it mentioned right here for that you will have to go back to the used seo dashboard and then from here click on this advanced tab and click breadcrumbs and in here you will see this breadcrumbs option so in here it is asking you to choose a separator so by default it has this separator this one is fine so this is anchor text for the home page let's keep it home and then you can define the prefix for the breadcrumb path we don't need any prefix prefix for the archive and some of the other details are here so breadcrumb for the post type if you want the breadcrumb for the post you can choose the breadcrumb for the post here so probably we will use categories and for the products we will use product categories and for the taxonomies we'll choose products for the formats we'll choose products and the same thing we can assign the appropriate categories here and after that hit save changes so once you will do that these changes will get updated and then from this style tab we can actually stylize this option so i want to align this one in the center and then i'll hit update here and then if on this front page if i refresh this one in here you can see this is where our breadcrumb is showing so in this way you can add the breadcrumb to the different pages of your wordpress website as well i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you will always get latest updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video